Hello, and thank you for letting me read for you. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the decks while I'm letting you know some information. So on my channel, when I use this camera, if the camera zooms in, I pull a clarifier with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So if you see it go really close on a card, I'll be pulling some clarity cards. Then, for your bonus, I have the Characteristics deck. This is the Oracles of Characteristics, because you were asking me about the person who you were going to be in a relationship with. So I pulled out that deck. And then this is the uh, Oracles of Yes or No. It's a deck that we're going to be using in the reading today. And so the characteristics are going to be your bonus cards because all of my readings come with bonus cards. And since you had specifically asked about, you know, characteristics about the person who you're supposed to be with, I thought that that would be a perfect deck. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So question number one is, should you reach out? Oh, was it two cards? Should you reach out? The next one is, do they like you? Do they like you? And then the next one is... Do they want to date you? All right. And then we're going to go on to the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And the first card is Blessings Between You. And the second card is Blocks Between You. All right. So let's go ahead and get started here. Have to spread them out so that if it zooms in on anything, we can. <laughs> that was crazy, right? Okay, so we know which one they're zooming on. That's my spirit guides. My spirit guides help give more information and zoom in like that. So it's really interesting. The as soon as I said that, there we go. So all right, let's get started now for sure. Card number one, should you reach out? Yes, the world needs you. Don't worry, you're fulfilling your goals, all is well. <clears throat> I feel that this person really appreciates you. I feel though that you are a little leery about it because I feel like you've actually experienced some rejection in the past and it's kind of caused you to have some fear. And the issue is that you're bringing fear into the next connection because you're afraid that they're going to act or react the same way that somebody did in the past. And it's really important that you treat this person as a different individual because some ways you're trying to be safe and have boundaries, but what's actually happening is you're bringing fear into the connection, fear from past connections. And this person's a totally different person. You have to treat things differently. So card number two, do they like you? Yes. Keep your head up. When you trust your heart, you can never go wrong. Don't let other people stand in your way. Ah, I feel that you definitely have some people in your life who are telling you that things aren't a good idea. Now, it is important to listen to counsel, especially when you, it's like getting a second opinion. There's a, there's a feeling of safety when you can get multiple insights from people because then you can kind of see what matches up and what doesn't. Now, if you are unstable in how you're thinking about this, like sometimes you think it'll work and sometimes you think it don't, you think it won't, don't talk to anybody. Because what's going to happen is you're kind of like unsteady with how you feel. So then Mary comes in and says, don't do it. And you say, okay. And then Jill comes in and says, you're going to go together. You know what I mean? Like you have to find out what you believe and what you want and what makes your heart happy. And you have to stay with that. But don't let other people stand in your way because that's currently what's happening. I also suggest that you don't really get a lot more readings about this. I would say that once you get this reading and get this information that you kind of let it simmer. Let things sort themselves out. Because right now you kind of have this energy like, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? And that's kind of uh, overwhelming sometimes for the other person. The calmer you can be, the more the connection the two of you have will be connecting calmly. And then you'll just be able to go back and forth with the energy of each other. 
I would definitely suggest that you meditate to calm your mind and also put your focus back on yourself. I feel that it's really focused on this person and it's good because good things are happening, but I feel that you need to focus on yourself enough that it's almost like you stop waiting for it because right now you're really, really waiting for it and that's what actually makes it slow down. So if you think about going to work and you only have 10 minutes left, you're going to have a lot more like, oh, this is never happening. This is never going to happen. Happen. Well, when you have that frustrated energy, the universe keeps bringing more of it to you. They keep saying, oh, well, this is what you're ordering. This is what you're ordering. As opposed to saying, oh, things in my life are calm and peaceful and I get what I want. I get what I want with ease. Things come to me easily. And it says that all is well. You're fulfilling your purpose. You have to remove some of this worry and doubt that you're feeling. Also, it's been five minutes and 55 seconds, so the 555 caught my attention. I always like to tell people when I see those synchronicities because that's usually your spirit guides giving you more information. So definitely look up 555 and see how that number resonates for you because I feel that it could be something that's kind of leading you down the path. So then the third card says, uh, do they want to date you? This is yes, don't stop believing. When you believe and don't waver. You allow things to happen in your life. I feel like it's very interesting. I feel like your spirit guides are wanting you to know you can't waver. That Now what that means, wavering, is that back and forth feeling. Oh yeah, they want me. Oh, they said this nice thing, so they must think I'm, I'm relationship material. Oh, they smiled at me today, so today I feel happy. The goal is to feel happy and feel like you are where you need to be without that person being involved so that when they come in, you're already happy. You come pre-happy. And that's what you need to have a really good relationship. And part of this thing, I feel like what happens is you believe for a little bit and then you stop believing. And then you believe for a little bit and then you stop believing. And so that seed that you've planted, you keep like burying it up and saying, picking it up and saying, oh, it's not an apple tree and throwing it away. So I'm waiting to see. It didn't land on anything. It just kind of moved. Okay. So if it lands on something specific, we'll obviously pull more cards. All right. So then this one says blessings between you. This is showing as the death card. So in tarot, death does not mean physical death. On um, Like a very small percentage of the time does it mean physical death. And in your situation, it does not mean physical death. It means big changes. It means being able to let go and move on. And you're not supposed to be letting go of your hope of this person. You're supposed to be letting go of the fears that you've had that you've had from past relationships. So let's see what the clarifier is for this. This is showing as the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords energy is about betrayal and dishonesty. It's about uh, divorce or like a relationship going really in a sad direction, not having uh, longevity, not being long term. I feel that relationships that you've had in the past have been like that. They've been really uh, short term. They've been you wondering if the person really cared. They've been you kind of wondering how you're going to, you know, be in a relationship. And you always have this fear when you're going in. And so your guides really want you to know, hey, there's potential here. But you can't let that fear keep going in playing into the scenario again. And when it's talking about don't let other people stand in your way, some of the advice that you're getting from other people is like, oh, well, you know, they just want to be friends. I feel like you actually have a, a person around you who you're trying to get advice from and they're giving you like, oh, well, this is how the person feels because they're actually like jealous almost like they want a relationship. So they don't always feed you the best information. I really would start meditating and working with your spirit guides about this relationship. Don't really ask a lot of people because it's kind of like, have you ever heard the too many cooks in the kitchen where like when you're trying to cook something, if there's a whole bunch of people that you're involving in it, somebody puts in the salt and then another person puts in more salt and then somebody adds something really sweet and it tastes really nasty because you just need one cook. You're the cook. Huh. I feel like your energy got that. 
Good job. You have a beautiful energy, by the way. You're very friendly, fun. I feel that sometimes you don't know how amazing you are. And so sometimes you come across as a little bit insecure because you haven't had that security in knowing that you're a really good relationship picker. You can trust yourself. Like you are kind of struggling with the level of trust that you can have for yourself. So then this one is the energy of the blocks that are between you. I'm going to move this over a little bit. This is showing as the king of cups. So the energy of a king of cups is like a great father, a great husband. I feel that one of the things that's blocking you is you want to fast forward. You don't want to go through the path that it takes to get to the good father, good husband energy. And I read gender neutral. So this is like ma masculine energy. This does not necessarily mean that you're looking for a man. I want to make sure that that's clear. You're looking for the energy of this person who like can take care of you, is very emotionally available. And the thing is, sometimes you see this person in this position, but this is a position that is earned. Like this is a, a, a position that you have to be entitled to. And some of these people that you're, that you've met that put you in this energy here, some of the people that you've met that have hurt you in your past, it's because you didn't take the time to follow the path and the path starts at friendship. So when you're meeting these people, you're like, oh my gosh. And you fall, almost fall in love with the potential of them. And it's okay for things to move quickly. It really is when there's no doubt. It's okay for things to move quickly. And they often do when there is no doubt. But because you have this really high expectation of, I want this person to be my person. I want them to be the one. I want to have to, I want to stop looking for anybody else. I'm just ready to be off the market and be in a committed long-term relationship. That is possible. And that is something that could be down the future, but you can't look at that as your right now, because in reality, that's not where it is right now. And reality is really important because it's kind of like going into the bathroom and there's a pipe that's burst and there's water everywhere and saying, oh no, it's, that's not what it is. They're just afraid to be around me and be in a relationship. I have to say the fear is actually coming from your side and it's a subconscious fear. It's a shadow self fear. It's something that you need to do some journaling about. What are you afraid of, if of being friends? What are you, I feel that the reason you're kind of afraid to start with friendship and, and follow the path is because one, you don't want to invest time in somebody who's not going to be invested in you. Two, you're afraid of the pain. You're afraid that it ends in pain because the other connections have ended in pain. So your subconscious mind is like, oh, this is how things get hurt. So I feel that we'll pull the clarity now, which is showing as the three of pentacles. Awesome. The three of pentacles is about teamwork. Like you can see, he's like holding her up against the wall. Like, see, this is the floor because there's her shoe. And then the, these are hanging on the wall and there's a fireplace here. So he's literally lifting her up. And I feel that this person that you're looking at, they can lift you up right from the beginning. They can be supportive right from the beginning. But you have to realize where beginning starts. What does that look like on a healthy level? If I went into a therapist and I told my therapist what was going on, would they say, oh, you need to slow down, that's not healthy? Or would they say, well, that's a beautiful place to start. I'm glad you have that kind of communication with this person. So I do feel that this has potential. And the confusing part sometimes about relationships is that we feel that the other person has all the control, but you can radiate what you want. So kind of like when you're sitting there and you close your eyes, close your eyes with me and think about it. What does it feel like to be adored by your partner? What does it feel like for them to make the plans? What does it feel like for them to listen to you so intently that when they surprise you, it's because they've listened to everything you've said? 
What does it feel like to go on those beautiful vacations that you've wanted to go to and be held and kissed and have unexpected fun and adventure with someone? What does that feel like emotionally? Can you feel it in your body? Do you feel any kind of like vibration? I feel uh, tingling in my head when I think about this for you. I feel like your divine uh, connection to spirit or source or God, whatever like label you put on that energy, wants you to have this happiness. This is not out of reach for you. I feel that some of this pain in the past, if you're able to kind of let go with that, it's really funny because you would think that these would be the blessings and these would be the blocks, but they're, they're backwards. So I feel that you need to be able to kind of heal from these experiences as well. That may be something that you do through journaling. It also may be something that you do um, through speaking with a counselor or a therapist who deals with relationships. Not that uh, I feel like everybody should go to therapy. So I know some people feel like, oh, there's nothing wrong with me. Why would I go to therapy? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with you. I'm saying you have some patterns in the past that you've kind of learned that won't help you in this relationship with this person and what they are looking for and what you really want in your soul. Oftentimes a counselor will be able to help you write a list of things that you want so that when you see this person matching up to that, you can say, oh, it's safe for me. We're on our way to this energy where I'm taken care of and I don't have to worry and they want to show up bright and beautiful and bold in your energy and in your life. So I do feel that when I, I don't read on time necessarily like days, weeks, months, or years because those are things that are not measured by emotions. This relationship will move forward and be what you want it to be when you are able to harness your, harness your emotions. When you are able to get control of your emotions and not waver in how you feel, just like that. It's going to be like, whoa, whoa, what, how did you switch? How did you change so much? They didn't. You did. You have to change you. You can't change this other person. And part of it, I feel like you've kind of been sitting sitting on the sidelines wondering, well, when are they going to do anything? And yet you don't make the first, like, I feel like we as couples and groups of people need to make equal first moves. That's how we move forward. One foot moves, the other foot moves. One foot moves, the other foot moves. You can't get out of balance and have one foot moving or you'll fall over. You can't have both feet move too far because then we don't go anywhere either. So you have to be able, especially because, I mean, you got a yes card. You don't have to go right in and be like, oh, yes, will you marry me? But at least go in and be like, hey, how was your day? Like start some kind of supportive connection with this person. Oh. They didn't land on anything. All right, so let's go ahead and we will do the bonus part. This is the, um, we have three cards. I'm going to shuffle them again. I like shuffling. Um, we have three cards, and this is going to be characteristics of the person that will be your next relationship. So with your next relationship, we have that this person will have the initials of C, N, or O. They will be slender. And they will be a Leo is what the cards are showing. So this is the person who you are potentially going to be in the next relationship with. Now, if the person that you were asking about doesn't match these, that's okay. There could be one person who's like the person who helps you learn the things that you are able to be in with the next person. You have a lot of options. I feel like that's another thing I need to, to let you know. Like... There's not just one outcome for this. There are literally millions of different ways that things can happen. And when you grab onto the universe and you say, I'm ready to go on this magical adventure, this magic ride, then this person is going to be someone who comes in and helps you achieve the love goals or the goals that you have for your love life. So this person is going to help you figure out how the, what the path is to this. So... Uh, 
it's important that you spend time with this person. This person may not be the one. I don't feel that the next person they're going to be in a relationship with is the one. I feel like the next person that you're going to be in a relationship with, and this is the, the energy of the whole thing, I feel like that next person is going to be absolutely amazing. You're going to grow a lot. You're going to like have a wonderful, loving time with them. They're not going to be the person who goes with you to the end of your life though. But I do feel that they're going to be someone who is incredibly encouraging. You grow a lot, you experience a lot, and it's going to put you in a place where you're going to get what you want. The universe isn't just kind of like flowing around with no plan. I know we say like go with the flow, but there is a, a path that your soul wants to go on. Some parts of you really, really want to experience this. And you have to consider yourself and look at yourself almost like a layer cake. Certain layers of you want to be with this person. And it's you're drawing this person in. So there is love coming for you and coming into your life. Just let go and relax and let it happen. Like Think about it and relax your shoulders unclench your jaw. Really relax. Really enjoy this experience. You're going to have some major, fun, exciting adventures coming in. And ultimately, that's what you want. You want this energy right here. And this person, I feel, is going to give you some of that energy so that you can get exactly what you're looking for. All right. Well, thank you so much for trusting me to read for you. And I look forward to reading for you again.